everyone welcome back to my channel thank you so much to my subscribers welcome newcomers i hope you like what you see and if so be part of this journey by subscribing hitting that subscription button it's very important uh, for you to be part of this journey with me grow the channel with me and also hit that bell notification for new uploads we are going to create this doily that i've created and you can pretty much use whatever colors you want. You can use into the red, white, and green for Christmas or to decorate your house or to as gifts. Um, so I'm going to create in the uh, very bright green. These are 80% cotton thread. This is a four ply, but it feels more like a six ply, to be honest. And the uh, this is a, a deep purple, almost like a very deep, like wine uh, purplish, if you know what I mean. Uh, also 80% cotton, 20% different fibers. I use a small little hook to tuck in loose ends and also a 3, 3.54, depending upon your stitch. If your stitch is too loose, go in a smaller hook. If your stitch is too tight, go uh, an upper a hook. Okay, and of course, a pair of scissors. Um, this uh, doily, uh, why I'm creating in that color, because I already ha have created the table runner. Okay, so this, I know it's the camera's too small. You'll see it on display once I take the picture at, at the end and have it on display, then you will see better uh, the table runner. Okay, so I'm creating the doily. And eventually, uh, later on, I'll probably create the uh, table runner. If you guys are interested, let me know on the comments below. And then I'll know if it's worth me taking my time to create the uh, the table runner for the doily. This one I already have created the table runner for. It. As you can see here. Okay, pretty big. But like I said, let me know on the description on the uh, comments below. I'll leave also the size to all of these uh, patterns uh, below. And um, thank you so much again to every single one of you. So, okay, so we're going to get started. Thank you, everyone. Please don't forget to hit that uh, like button. It's very important to circulate the video. I also like to mention on every video right up top on the right hand corner, there's three little buttons. You can click there and go to the speed you'd like to slow down the video. Right next to the three little buttons, you will see CC on there. That's closed caption. You can turn that on and the letters will appear what I'm saying down here so you can pause the video take notes and create the pattern if you do not see the cc right next to the three little buttons once you click the three little buttons it will open up and you will have the different options to slow down the video it also says cc caption you can click on there and turn on your cc caption okay let's get started everyone so the first thing you want to do is do that magic circle you just turn once and your fingers come inside the magic circle and pull the thread. Now, just pull a bit and put the thread, yarn, whatever you're using, to position. Go up chain three. And inside of this magic circle, we're going to do 11 more double crochets. With a chain three makes 12. So we're going to have a total of 12 double crochet. Okay? So, and I'm going to have to use a bigger hook on here because this thread is, I, I mean, it says a four ply, but guaranteed it's not a four ply. This is quite thicker than a four ply. So I will have to use a bigger hook on here. Okay, so this will be row one. Just going to pull a little bit. And then once I'm complete with the 12 double crochets, I'm going to close it on the third chain with a slip stitch and pull on my string to close everything together. I'll meet you at the end. So I've done my 12 double crochets. I've closed them with a slip stitch. I've pulled my string. In case you're still having a hard time, do a five chain and close it in with a slip stitch. I'm going to come into the center between the double crochets, I'm doing a single 
and one chain. For me, this will equal a double crochet. For you, you can do uh, the one single and two chains for double crochet, depending up on how wide your stitches are, okay? So I'm gonna have two double crochets on the same space, separated by one chain into the next space. We're gonna create 12 groups of two double crochet together. So I'm gonna do the same thing here one chain separation and into the next space between two double crochets so we're going to have the same amount here of 12 groups of two double crochets together it's probably best that i use the darker towel for you guys to see the stitch try to cut down on the whoops cut down on the lighting here so you can make it out clearly okay so nothing to it just do your double crochets two per space and one chain separation okay so we're going to close it up on the third chain with a slip stitch and i'll meet you at the end okay everyone going into row three so i've closed in with a slip stitch and just cut down a bit of the light here Crazy lighting. I'm gonna, I call it the walk. So I'm gonna go into the next uh, space and slip stitch until I get to the center of the square here. And I'm going to do a single and one chain. I'm gonna come back in and I'm gonna do a double crochet. So I have two double crochets. One more. Now we're increasing by um, one double crochet. So now we're going to have groups of three with one chain separation and three double crochets per space. So into the next space of the groups, three double crochet. We're going to repeat this all the way around one chain separation and into the next space two more double crochet so we're going to have a total of three double crochets separated by one chain into the middle of the groups okay so coming into the end We'll close up on the third chain, it, depending if you did a uh, single and two chains, you close on the third one, and I'll meet you in the next round. Okay, I want to uh, let you know that I'm changing colors, so you can change color or continue to work with the same color. I'm going to go into the purple because I don't, I mean, even though they look like they're the same, they're almost the same. Uh, the patterns, but slightly a little bit different. I like to give it a little different touch when I, when I put my other hook. Um, so I'm just going to tuck in my loose ends. So I did the slip stitch through it. Now I'm just going to grab a few uh, strings here and separate them, okay? And I'm going to give it a knot because we want to make sure that nothing is ever going to come apart. And since I have enough strings here, then it's perfect to knot it this way. Okay. This is a very easy pattern to create. It's just you have to pay attention at the, the end uh, when we're doing those uh, motives at the end, the little style there. Okay. And I'm just going to pass just a few more times these strings through the edge here and I'm just gonna cut it because now we made a knot to it that's not gonna go anywhere I'm just gonna cut the excess okay and on the middle here we pull the string well together and I'm gonna hide my string in between the loops back here the first, from the first row so we're going to tuck in a loose end here with these strings 
and just go through some of the loops just to make sure that nothing ever comes apart. This is tight enough, so I don't need to go, but you can go a few more rounds if you're working with thinner uh, yarn or thread. Okay, so now I'm going to go into my purple. And with the purple, it will be harder to see on black, so I'll just move this here. Now, this is also the four ply, but this four ply is a little bit thinner than the than the this uh, bright green. So you'd come into any space in between the groups, single. Try to hide your thread at the same time. One chain. I'm going to do another chain here. So single and two chains. And we're going to come into the center again. And we're going to do two double crochets together. So this is the fourth row. I'm going to do one chain. I'm coming in the same space. And I'm creating another group of two double crochets together. We need to increase in order to make our round, okay? So two double crochets, one chain, two double crochets, all in the same space. So I need to brighten up a little bit. Okay, one chain. I'm coming in to the next space and I'm creating again the two groups of double crochet one chain separation and again two more double crochet all in the same space like that we're going to do that all the way around until the end and close it up on the third chain up here so we're going into row five I've closed in with a slip stitch on the third space I'm going to come into the middle of the group, okay? Either you can go on the next one, next stitch, slip stitch, or if your stitch is large enough, you can go into the middle with a single. I'm going up two chains, so single, two chains. I'm doing a double crochet. And let me see. And another double crochet. So we're going to do three double crochets. Okay. I'm doing one chain. I'm coming into the middle of the groups here. And I'm doing, again, groups of three double crochet. We need to increase in order to get that roundness of the doily. One chain. I'm coming in between the two groups and creating the three double crochets. So we're going to repeat this pattern all the way around until the end. Very simple. One chain and into this uh, center here of the space. Okay, so I'll meet you at the end. Okay, going into row six trying to fix my lighting here it's always a disaster with lighting I'm gonna do the walk I call it the walk to the next space okay so getting here I'm doing a single and two chain why on this one I'm doing a single and two chain that it equals a double crochet because the other one is a thicker thread so by doing one chain I already have the length due to the thickness of the thread because this one is thinner, I do two chain after the single because it's thinner. So I can have that height, okay? Just to let you know for some of you, sometimes you will have a thicker thread. You don't need to do the two chain or else it's going to be too long. Okay, so we're going to continue with groups of three. One chain into the next space and continue the groups of three. Now, I am going to go all the way to... Uh, 
row, uh, I believe it's nine or ten. Let me see. One, two, three, whoops. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. I'm going to continue like this until row nine. The only difference is on row nine, I'm going to do a two chain instead of one, okay? So when I get to row nine, because it's going to be a repeat now until row nine, when I get, when I finish row eight and going into row nine, I'll come back to you so I can show you the two chain separation instead of one. But it will be repeatedly the same way. If you want your pattern bigger, then you just continue on the same process. The only difference is depending how big you're going to go on your pattern, then you would need to do the same thing as we just did here on uh, one, two, three, four, on row four. So you would have to do like this V, the two groups on the same space in order to increase or else you're not going to get a, a full round. It's going to like start pulling too much uh, on your pattern. Okay, so continue this way until row eight, uh, finish doing row eight because it will be the same thing. And then I'll come back to you at the beginning of row nine. So it's always groups of three into the spaces separated by one chain. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished doing row eight. I'm going into row nine. So I close in with a slip stitch. I did the walk, the single, two chain. I'm going to create again my three double crochets. Now this time I'm going to do two chain into the next space and create my three groups of double crochet. Two chain into the next space. So this row is going to be like this all the way around. Just like that. I'll meet you at the end. And we're going to go into row 10, which we're going to do double crochets all the way around. I'll show you once I finish this row. Okay, everyone, going into row 10. Let's pull my thread here. So I close in with slip stitch. I'm going to do one, two, three chain this time into the next space. Double crochet into the next space, double crochet. Inside of the space here, we're going to do two double crochet per space, like that, and then double crochet over double crochet. So this row is going to be all about doing double crochets, row 10. And then you can cut your thread if you're changing colors. And two inside of the space. So very simple. Now I believe um, I'm probably going to be missing two double crochets. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one more here. So I'm going to add twice. So I'm going to add here and I'm going to add further up. So instead of two, I'm going to put three. I'd rather have it extra than to be short. And I'm going to continue again the same way. Okay, because I know for the next, um, on the next motive we're going to do, I'm going to be missing, um, I'm going to be missing, I believe, two double crochets. So I'm adding now. Doesn't matter if I'll be missing one more or not. We could always fix that problem afterwards. But so again, two double crochets and a few more, a few more here. I'm going to add another three inside of the same space. So I'm going to add twice here. So I have it here, three double crochet instead of two and further up I'm going to add another group of three in the same space and then the regular the same thing all the way around two per space okay I'll meet you at the end okay I'm going to come into row 11 with my green Just cut down a bit of the light here whoops So 
So I'm going to come in anywhere on the double crochet. Try and turn my thread here so I can hide it. So it's single. Next space, single, next space, single. We're going to do five singles, one per space. So next space, so I have four, trying to hide my thread, and five. So we have five singles. It's crazy light, it's crazy. Oops, almost knocked down my camera. Oof. Not good. Okay, so we're gonna do one, two, three, four, five chain. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four on the fifth one. Single. We're gonna do five singles again. This row is gonna be like this all the way around. So four, uh, five singles, five chain, skip five space. Well, four space and put on your fifth. So one, two, three, four, and the fifth one. Chain five, two, three, four, and five. Skip one, two, three, four on the fifth space. Again, okay? So we're going to do it like that all the way around. Okay, you guys, so... This is what I mean by missing. I was missing like two, probably missing three. So I'm almost at the end. I did my five chains. So if I do one, two, three, four, and I go into the fifth one, I won't have enough here to do my five singles and then skip the five to close it in. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to back it up and I'm going to this one here. So it's like three before the single. So I have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven on your 12 single crochets here. I'm going to add two on the same place. So one, two, three, four. I'm going to add one more in the same place. So that's my five. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip one, two, three on my fourth space. Okay, because I need to make some, have some room here. Next space. Next space, I have three. And next space, I have four. And I'm going to do one more in the same space. One, two, three, four, and five. I'm going to skip one, two, three, four. Well, let me see now. One, two, three, four, and five. It's perfect. One, two, three, four on my fifth space. One, two, three, four. So I have one, two, three, four. And, the, and I'm going to do one more in the same space. So I have my five. I'm going to do my chain two, three, four, and five. And I'm going to close it with the slip stitch. So I'm going to have just count here. I'm going to have these groups of singles. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14 groups of singles. Okay? So very simple. Nothing, nothing to it. Okay. So I'm going to go into the next space. Single. So that's my first single. Next space single. That's my second Next space single. So it's my third single. I'm going to come here where I have the big loop, the chain of five, and I'm going to create eight double crochet. So very simple. This is row 12. 9, 10, 11, 12. Yep. 1, 2, 3, 4. 5. Six, seven, and eight. Okay. 
Again, I'm not going to go into the first one here. I'm coming into the second with a single. My first single, next space, second single, and my third single. So we don't do the first one here, and we don't do the last one. Coming into the big loop, eight double crochets. So we're going to repeat this all the way around the same way. And I'll meet you at the end of this row. Try to cap down a bit of the light here. This is crazy. Okay. Okay, everyone. So I pretty much finished my row. So 10, 11, 12. I'm going to slip stitch through the first single. Just like that. And I'm going to do a single on the next one. I'm coming in on top of the double crochet here. See if it was on top or inside oh, on top. Okay. So we did slip stitch knot, uh slip stitch, sorry, next phase one single going on top of the first double crochet. So we're going to have the eight double crochets again, separated by one chain. Next phase. One chain, next phase. And again, next phase. One chain. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, one more, eight. I'm going to come into the middle, so we're skipping the first one, coming into the middle with a single, and again creating the eight double crochets, one chain separation, and continuing on. One double crochet per space. So you're going to have your total of your eight double crochets. And then you can cut your thread. We're going to proceed afterwards with the last row. And I'll be using the purple. So I've done my eight. I'm going to come in the middle, the center of the singles. Because we skip the first one, we skip the last one and do a single. And this is what it's going to look like. Dim a bit my light. The, the lighting is just terrible. Okay. Especially with these fluorescent colors, they really uh, shine through. So it makes it difficult to see the, st the stitch. So I'm going to do that and then cut the thread. And then we're going to come in with the... Uh, with the purple if you're changing colors of course but that's what gives a nice effect is the change of colors okay okay so I've come to the end trying to straighten my light here and this is where I started with the single so I'm in a slip stitch and cut my thread I'm going to pull through it and then I'm going to pull my thread to the back. I'm going to bring it down a few more spaces here. Like that. And then I'm going to split my thread in half. I'm going to come through another 
it doesn't matter where anywhere at this point and pull half and give it a knot to make sure that nothing is going to come apart One more knot. And then just go through another space here and pull it through. And then you can cut the excess off. Just pull it a bit. And now we're going to go in with the purple. So I've got my purple. I'm going to come in, doesn't matter which motive here, in between the um, stitches where we have one chain. I'm going to do a single and one, two, three chain I'm gonna come back in and this would be like a peacock let's say next space single one two and three come in again the same space single next space trying to hide my thread the excess at the same time one two and three Come into the same space. If you want to do the peacock, the normal peacock, you can. I'm doing a little bit different because all of them are different. So I have one, two, three. One, two, three. So on the middle here on the fourth one. So one, two, three. Between the four and the third, I'm going to do a single. One, two, and three. And again, doing like the peacock and next space. One, two, and three. And again. Okay, so you're going to have them like this. Next space. One, two, and three. And again. And the last space. One, two, and three. So you have one, two, three, four, five, six, and seven peacocks, let's say. Now I'm going to do one, two, and three. So it's a um, quadruple. I'm going to come in. You see where the loop is here. Try to brighten up a bit. So in between I have one, two, three. Um, double crochets so in the center okay so we have one two and three so in the center here not the one that's right underneath here but the one right after okay I'm gonna come in through here into the front I'm gonna grab my thread and I'm doing taking out two taking out two, taking out two, and the last two. And then again, turn two, three times. I'm coming in, so we have one, two, three. I'm coming into this one here, the second one. Okay, so... Not the second one, sorry. So, see, we have this one here. I'm going to come in to the next one right over. Okay? So not the one that's, that's attached to the single here, but the first one right after. And I'm doing the same thing. Turn your pattern to make it easier. So take out two. This is where the little tricky you have to be careful because sometimes the threads they, they split apart. Take out two, take out two, and take the last two. So now we have them like this. 
I'm going to come into my first uh, double crochet here. So I'm not the one here, out here, but inside between the first and the second and doing the same thing. Three chain and then a single. Next face, single, one, two, three, and then a single in the same space. Next space, one, two, three, and then the same thing. Next space, three single, three chain, and a single on the same space. Next space, single and three chain, and a single on the same space. Next space, one, two, three, and a single on the same space. Next space, single, one, two, three, and a single on the same space. So now we're on the last one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So we have seven peacock. Again, turn once, twice, three times. We're going to have four on our hook. And I'm coming in, not the one where we have the single. Actually, the single's here. So we're going to skip the first one here. I'm only leaving one empty on the middle. So I'm coming into this one here. So I'm not the first, the second. Okay, so I'm going to come in through this side now. So you leave always one in the center, in the middle alone, that you don't do. So you do the two ones that are like right next to it, okay? So we leave the center one here. And again, turn three times, and we're coming into the one right after. So we're leaving the middle one here, and we're going to do the one here and the one here. So I'm going to come in. Take out two, take out two, and take out the last two. And again, I'm coming in between the first and the second double crochet. And doing a single with three chain, single again. We're going to create these seven double crochets, uh, not double crochet, seven um, picots. Sorry about that. Okay. So I'm going to continue and I'm going to come back here to create this again. Okay, so I've created my seven peacocks. I'm going to turn once, twice, three times. I'm going to leave the middle one alone and I'm coming right into the one before the middle one. Take out two, take out two, take out two and take out the last two. Again, turning three times, and I'm going to leave the middle one here alone. So I'm coming into this one right after where we have the single on top. I'm coming in between the first and second double crochet with a single, And three chain next space single three chain single in the same space I'm going to continue to do the same thing I'll meet you here again one more time okay so I'm on my seventh um, picot again turn once twice three times I'm going to leave the middle one out I'm coming right next to the middle one here take out two take out two and take out the last two again turn so you're gonna have four on your hook we're gonna leave the middle one out I'm coming into the one right next to it These threads are something else when they come apart. Try that again. 
come in. Neighbor's dog is, is going crazy. Take out two, take out two. And then coming in where I have my first space here between the double crochets. Okay, so very simple, not much more complicated than this. I'm going to continue mine and meet you at the end. Okay, you guys, I'm on my very last one. So I've created the one here. I'm going to come into the one here because we'll always leave one in the middle out. And finish my last motive here. Coming into the first single where we have the the peacock with the slip stitch and now I'm just gonna slip stitch this through pull the well and bring my thread to the back neighbors just got a brand new little baby puppy and she's just crying day and night like like somebody is like killing her or something I don't know just weird Maybe she's not used to them or the area of the house. It's just a baby still. Okay, so I'm going to split the, the threads here. And I'm going to make a knot to make sure that nothing comes apart. Of course. Like that. Another knot. Funny thing is that dog doesn't bark. I mean, I know it's a baby dog. She doesn't bark. She howls like a howl or something. I don't know. And I'm going to pull the thread through some of the loops here. We're pretty much done with this tutorial. Now let me know if you want me to create a table runner. Leave on the comments below. Just going to cut the excess. I will have the reveal shots at the end. I'll take pictures. And I'm pretty much done with the doily. And like I said, I have the table runner. Now the table runner, I left it in the top part in green, just so we can balance it out uh, a little bit, which looks beautiful either way. Okay, so thank you so much uh, again, everybody. Stay tuned for the next tutorial because I have a little, uh, not tutorial, a um, little video. Uh, surprise for you guys and it has to do with these patterns so I'm sure uh, you'll be interested to to hear what I have to say about these sets of patterns okay until next time please give a thumbs up on the video let me know what you think about these uh, doilies take care of each other and especially yourself God bless everybody thank you so much bye-bye until next time